guys, let's take a look when I believe the FPV drone from DJI will come out and why that is March the 20th according to all what I can find. If everything holds up and Apple is doing a special event on March the 16th, we will have a lot of new tech to play with in March. That's great. Let's take a look after the intro. guys and welcome back to the channel. So let's take a look at why I believe we will get the new DJI drone on March the 20th. When we go to get FPV, we're having this special event, the DJI FPV flying event surprise reveal, March 20th, 2021 in Florida. Well, that screams basically like we have a new FPV drone, which is rumored already to finally show you. Unfortunately, it's not a surprise reveal like it was maybe initially planned by DJI, which I think is great. I like surprises and this kind of feeling the night before Christmas when all the presents are dropping on you. That's great. Just this time DJI didn't do a very great job to keep their supply chain and people in check who had hands on this product early. So to back that up, what we are getting, let's take a look in the details of what is really happening uh, on that day for that event. And it starts with saying fly advanced HD FPV drones. It's a DJI event where you fly advanced HD FPV drones. And advanced HD FPV means the V2 goggles from DJI. They have a built-in technology to transmit the image from the camera from the drone to the goggles in an advanced way over the V1 goggles, what we have for FPV. So basically DJI will have an edge with their own FPV drone how the image is transmitted to your goggles and that is what's written right here for this event. Also in this event there are flying sessions. One flying session from 10 to 12 and one from 2.30 to 5 p.m. beginner friendly. And I will come back what that beginner friendly could mean um, when we are looking at the drone. So let's Google, um, it's all over the internet for the FPV DJI drone. And here we have all the photos. So let's focus on this one here. We can see that we have all the sensors, what we know from a normal Mavic. And a Mavic can fly alone, never crashes. So you don't really need to be a pilot being actively flying the drone. It flies for you, you're operating it at best, but you're not really piloting it. In FPV, we are kicking our things in acro mode, crashing it all day long, repairing it, and really have to build up the skills flying the drone and getting better and better, doing more tricks and enjoying those. That requires many hours in a simulator and always the fear and worries about putting tons of money in that because FPV drones crash even if you don't want but it is not avoidable if you want to get better in FPV. Until now. Because I believe this has an end now with this new FPV drone. What DJI tried and probably achieved here is that they build a drone combining best of both worlds. When I look at this frame, it is easy to see that this is built for performance. It is not a foldable arm design, the engines are in the right size to get performance out of it for punch outs and in acro mode or the tricks we want to do. It is also streamlined for high speed, not like all the other Mavics. So we can see that this design built all into that frame and aerodynamic it would be almost impossible to repair for us. We cannot afford to repair this frame and um, we cannot send it back to DJI. DJI wouldn't want to repair that all the time. So what do I mean when I say combining best of both worlds? I believe that that thing is capable of full acro mode and whenever it senses to crash into the ground, whenever you push it too hard, when you want to do new tricks and you're getting too much out of your comfort zone that any other FPV drone would crash, this thing will recover, hover, 
take over and not let you crash. But only then. <laughs> Maybe Joshua Bardwell would call it the Cheetah Quad version 2. And that is basically what it is. It does more than the footage really reveals when you're just looking at that. Because the pilots will get more to the edge and get more out of their comfort zone because the risk is lower, they cannot crash. So basically everyone is becoming suddenly overnight a better pilot, more confident. If you are flying in a normal way around trees and whatever you do in FPV, it will do all what you are telling it to do. Assuming DJI really achieved all that, this will really lower the barrier for getting into FPV and it's actually really great for the community to get closer and into FPV for all of us. We still can build our drones. Just this one DJI FPV drone will lower the barrier of people getting into this hobby. And that really can't be bad. And there's one more thing when looking at this camera, what I believe what DJI did here. We always have trouble sticking a heavy GoPro with batteries and all these casing on our drones which have already the digital system in them and making them heavier and yeah we don't need to do that here anymore because I believe that this camera, besides the point that we cannot stick a GoPro on it, will be performing better than a GoPro. It will knock the GoPro out of the water and that is another very great, very important benefit when having an FPV drone, having a very nice high quality camera on board. And this one with this very big lens lets a lot of light in, maybe has filters we can put on that and it is at least a 4K camera. So no more headaches anymore, stripping GoPros naked and putting them on our quads. This one right out of the box will have a great high resolution camera on board which we can use as is. Well, we will see soon. I believe March 20th will be the day. I will have it on order as soon as it is available and I will share all the experience all around the new FPV drone from DJI. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, that would be really appreciated. Hit and destroy that like button. Have a great rest of the day, stay safe and see you in the next one.